A philosopher once said, pompous view, it is necessary for the very existence of science that the same conditions always produce the same result. Well, they don't. <laughs> if you set up the electrons in any way, I mean, you set up the circumstance here in the same conditions every time, and you cannot predict behind which hole you'll see the electron. They don't, and yet the science goes on in spite of it. Although the same conditions don't produce the same results. That makes us unhappy that we can't predict exactly what will happen. Incidentally, you can make a circumstance which is very dangerous and serious and man must know and still can't predict. For instance, we could cook up, I know, rather not, but we could cook up a scheme by which we arrange photo cells so that if it see the electron, behind, one electron is going to go through. If we see it behind hole number one, we set off the atomic bomb and start World War III. If we go see it behind hole two, we have just to uh, make peace feelers and delay the war a little longer. Then the thing is that the future of man would then be dependent upon something which no amount of science can predict. So the world is the future is unpredictable. What is necessary for the very existence of science and so forth, and what the characteristics of nature are, are not to be determined by pompous preconditions. They're to be determined, they are determined always by the material with which we work, by nature herself. We look and we see what we want to find, what we find. And we cannot say ahead of time, successfully, what it's going to look like. The most reasonable possibilities turn out often not to be the situation. What is necessary for the very existence of science is just the ability to experiment, the honesty in reporting results, the results must be reported without somebody saying what they'd like the results to have had been. And finally, an important thing is the intelligence to interpret the results, but important point about this intelligence is that it, must not, it should not be sure ahead of time about what must be. Now, it can be prejudiced and say that's very unlikely. I don't like that. Prejudice is different than absolute certainty. I don't mean absolute prejudice, just bias but not strict bias, see, not, not complete prejudice. As long as you're biased, it doesn't make any difference because if the fact is true, there will be a perpetual accumulation of experiments that perpetually annoy you until they cannot be disregarded any longer. Only can be disregarded if you're absolutely sure ahead of time of some precondition that science has to have. In fact, it is only necess it is necessary for the very existence of science that minds exist which do not allow that nature must satisfy some preconceived conditions like those of our philosophy.